The world we inhabit is not as free, or certain, or safe as you might think. The things that you believe to be unassailably evident are little more than shadows dancing behind a curtain. A masquerade, crafted and dutifully upheld by an organization known as the Foundation. The file you are about to hear contains containment procedures, descriptions, testing logs, historical and in some cases first-hand accounts of the anomalous objects the Foundation serves to secure, contain, and protect. Its contents have been thoroughly scrutinized by the Ethics Committee and approved by the O5 Council for release to trusted associates of the Foundation. This is SCP Unredacted. Level 3, 5879, Classified. Item Number, SCP-5879. Object Class, Neutralized. Special Containment Procedures. No special containment procedures are required at this time. Description. SCP-5879 refers to a plethora of anomalous phenomena that affected the region surrounding Saddleworth Moor, United Kingdom, between 1963 and 2018. SCP-5879 is a retroactive designation. The vast majority of phenomena now recognized as constituting SCP-5879 was classed as extra-normal until 2018. Addendum 5879.1 List of Extra-Normal Events Date 5 July 1963 RSPCA Officer Walter Dilly reported a stolid stench emanating from the blanket bog covering a small area of Saddleworth Moor east of the A635 road while documenting local wildlife. Subsequent investigation of the smell by local authorities reported the existence of rapidly growing flowering hemlock within the blanket bog. This hemlock was identified as the source of the smell by local authorities. The odor was attributed to the hemlock's rapid growth death cycle as upon expiration it would release an offensive odor into the surroundings. 21 December 1972 Between 21 December 1972 and 5 January 1973, the local authorities received numerous complaints concerning the water quality within the boroughs of Kirklees, Oldham, and Greater Manchester. Commonly reported issues included Incidental low pressure of available water Dark discoloration of the water Chemical analysis concluded that this color was produced by the introduction of ink somewhere within the water supply Noticeable buildup of ash and or soot within tap openings, sinks, and the interiors of drain piping and gutters Following these complaints, the local council investigated the source of the borough's water supply, Dovestone's Reservoir, located in Saddleworth Moor. A severe blockage was located within one of the water supply channels that led to the local water treatment plant. The cause of said blockage was identified as a congealed mass of torn paper that had become wedged within the center of the channel. The mass, weighing 1.5 kilograms, was recovered on the same day. The majority of the writing upon the scraps of paper was obfuscated by water damage. Of what little writing remained visible, the only legible words consisted of, Will I burn in hell? Date, 20 February 1984. Suffer Little Children by the Smiths aired continuously on all radio channels available within the region surrounding Saddleworth Moor. The song eventually faded out after two hours of continuous play, with the repetition of the song's closing lyrics on the moor. Date, 19 September 1987. The entire population of Manchester, England was affected by a mass psychogenic illness. The event consisted of the participants linking hand in hand with one another and dancing around the city. Affected individuals were observed dancing erratically, jumping from one foot to the other. Activity ceased after 19 minutes. 
Following mass amnestization of the public, it was discovered that 683 participants had expired from the event, 17 individuals were declared deceased from exhaustion, the remaining deceased had collapsed into the River Irwell and drowned. Exhumation of the submerged remains has uncovered that they sustained extensive damage to the pulmonary system, identical to that caused by smoke inhalation. Date 24 June 2018 on 24 June 2018, Saddleworth Moore spontaneously set fire. 50 homes and 100 residents from the neighboring regions were evacuated by local authorities. The majority of the wildfire was subterranean, as it had set the peat beneath the moor alight. By the time the fire was extinguished on 17 July 2018, 18 square kilometers of moorland had been devastated, with the smoke plume floating high above Saddleworth Moor for the next three days. Subsequent investigations of the incident discovered that witnesses of the initial fire had observed an unidentified individual dancing on the Mancunian side of Saddleworth Moor. Further investigation is pending. Addendum 5879.2 Discovery Date 18 July 2018. The area surrounding the Kerdroya, remaining entirely untouched by the wildfire, resembled an apotropaic mark. A Kerdroya is a type of medieval Cretan labyrinthine maze, commonly found across the British Isles. In England, they are more commonly known as a Troy town. Historically associated with folk dance rituals, they are now believed to have been a source of entertainment for children. Evacuation of the scorched turf uncovered a shallow grave containing the burnt skeleton of a young girl. The body was recovered with its head bowed, its arms hugging its knees, and its legs drawn up close to the chest. Further anomalous events are deemed unlikely. Thank you for listening to this podcast. If you like what you hear, follow the link in the description to patreon.com slash SCP Unredacted and help support me by becoming a patron for as little as $3 a month. You can get access to production logs, merchandise, recognition, and even a part in a skip. Regardless of tier, all patrons get early access to every single episode. I don't have the talent it takes to write a skip. All I do is read. Original authors make this podcast possible, so credit to the original author. Their link's in the description. Show them some love as well. Consider becoming a member of the SCP Wiki, upvote their work, and maybe write a skip of your own. Maybe I'll read it here someday. You never know if you never try. The content of this podcast and content relating to the SCP Foundation, including the SCP Foundation logo, is licensed under Creative Commons Sharealike 3.0, and all concepts originate from scpwiki.com and its authors. This recording, being derived from this content, is hereby also released under Creative Commons Sharealike 3.0.